Namaste everyone and welcome to my channel where I tell the whole story about my 9 month solo journey in India. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I am so excited about today's episode as I am taking you to, I think, the most beautiful place I had a chance to see in India. After all, Kerala is known as God's own country. Good morning! Today I'm going on a water trip. Hello, good morning! Poland. Oh, nice. I think you are lucky today because you have all boat for yourself. <laughs> Maybe I'm lucky. Forever alone. I was a little bit worried if I would find a value for money backwater store suitable for a solo and low budget traveler. I came to Alapi only for two days and I didn't have time to do the research. It wasn't necessary though. Very often, not always, but at a significant amount of times, everything was going into place by itself for me in India. The first accommodation I checked was usually the right one, or I got the right recommendations on the way, or I met the right person at the right time. It seems like this backwater store was not an exception. Justyna. Justyna. Poland. The day before, just after I arrived in Alapi, I met a girl who told me about that amazing canoeing trip that she and her boyfriend went on the other day. That it was so worth it and they had a local guide who was showing them interesting things. All I knew was the name of the guest house where they found the trip. But the next day, I saw a flyer at that cafe with a backwater store offer and the same guest house was mentioned as the organizer there. So it must have been the same tour and it actually was. So what really made me take that offer without searching any further was that girl's recommendation and the weird feeling that the things clearly arranged themselves for me. And I was lucky to be the only one interested in that tour on that day. I had the boat and the local guide Anil just for myself. Thank you. Thank you. Cutting popsicles. <laughs> what the fuck? So much genital. Photo. Photo. Anil, my local guide, was showing me interesting places. I was just told that this is a famous Indian movie spot to film romantic scenes because there's on the uh, one side there's water, on the other side just uh, rice fields and three huge, one Two, and another one is behind mango trees, which are the symbol of love. But the most surprising thing I saw during this trip were, I think, these men collecting shells out of the water. <laughs> Mala 
മാതാമേനെ കൊണ്ടുവരുവാണെങ്കിൽ ഒരു വാട്ട കക്കായി ഇവിടെ കിടക്കുന്നു നാളെ എത്രയ്ക്ക് വരും മാതാമേ കൊണ്ട് രണ്ടുപേരും കാണിക്കാൻ രണ്ടുപേരും കൊണ്ട് ഒരു വാട്ട കക്ക കുറച്ചല്ലേ എടുക്കത്തുള്ളൂ ഏഹ് അതിന്റെ പിടികൊടുന്നില്ലെങ്കിൽ കേട്ടാ മാതാമ കൊണ്ട് കാണിക്കുവാണെ ഒരു വാട്ട കക്കായി ഇവിടെ കിടക്കുന്നു നാളെ വരും ഫെറി <laughs> 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 Everything is even more beautiful. The peaceful sounds of nature and the paddles striking the water were once in a while interrupted by the noise of a bigger boat's engine. <laughs> Big house boats. Look what it produces. My boat is eco-friendly and it allows to explore the narrow waterways and see people's life from very close. I have the opportunity to witness the rural Kerala lifestyle. I could see women doing laundry, kids going to school, I could see how their homes looked like. Anil? Um, do you have uh, work every day? Ah, we still live season every day. Every day. And your wife with your son? Yes. Yeah. Where do you live? My home. Home. By the end of the trip I had some time to explore the village by foot while Anil could take some rest. And now I have my time to walk around the village. Oh, there's a bridge. There you go. Three minutes walk and the uh, civilization. No, but the truth is that there's civilization everywhere. This is amazing because I am, as a tourist, um, somebody from outside. I've never seen so beautiful, such a beautiful place. And there are people here who live. here since forever and it's it's a usual thing for them just that just they like it's incredible how a place that is so exotic to me is at the same time the reality for the people who live there for me it's an incredible tourist attraction for them it's their home with its upsides and downsides It's normal that they need to cross the water daily. Their public transport is a boat. I wonder if people who live here are aware of how beautiful this place is. Are they? 
this? Yes. <laughs> My name is Justyna. Justyna. What is What's your, your name? You're recording? Yes. Hi. I'm fine, thank you. Okay, I'm back. Enjoy it? Yes, a lot. <laughs> You look good. <laughs> the trip ended yeah. at Anil's house with a home cooked lunch <laughs> at Anil's home. It was cooked by his wife and served on the banana leaf, which is typical for South India. It was delicious. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you for an amazing trip, Anil. Pleasure to meet you. Bye. Worth it. I've seen so many beautiful places in India, but the Bakuters in Alapi are at the top of my list. If you enjoyed this video as much as I did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram where I am currently posting my best pictures from Kerala and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!